What's up? Okay, a quick trip down memory lane. Well, for me anyway. So many years ago, when I was an investment banker, I was having a meeting with a bunch of bond traders. There were about seven or eight of us, and everyone kept using some term I didn't understand. And I can't remember the specific term, but let's call it convexity for now. Now, during the meeting, I was too embarrassed to ask, but after the meeting ended, I went up to one of the senior bond traders who was in that meeting, Steve, and asked him, Steve, what is convexity? I kind of felt a little uncomfortable asking as I was clearly the only one in the meeting that didn't know. And further, I really should have asked during the meeting, not sheepishly afterwards. And his response was, uh, ask him, um, yes, you know what? Honestly, I don't know. Now, this guy did nothing but trade bonds for like well over a, well over a decade. He must be making a couple of million dollars a year. But like me, he was too scared to reveal his lack of knowledge in that meeting. Now, in, the, in, in my last couple of years of investment banking, I really didn't care what anyone thought, as I knew I was going to leave soon anyway. I asked question after question, stupid question, I challenged, and despite, I'm sure, frequently looking stupid, I must have also appeared very bold. And those were the best years of my career. When I left Morgan Stanley, I had managing director after managing director, turn by turn, trying to convince me to stay. And the same thing happened when I left Credit Suisse. And that's in an industry and at a time which when you resign, you'd normally be immediately escorted to the front door. Now, my strong performance in my last few years in investment banking was in large part because I had accepted that I was stupid in some ways and I wasn't going to try to hide it. And if you want to accelerate your career, forget worrying about looking stupid. You are stupid in some ways, as are we all. And if you accept that, then you can start focusing instead on learning and going places.